What's up boys, welcome back to the channel. So as you can see, we're gonna continue right where we left off. Hey, my gun. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the- Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, oh, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea. Parker, shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. What the hell? Great. So the darkness is here now. I have a gun. The dark presence will be Hang on. I'm gonna watch this wake Arthur fall. Followed the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning even in the water. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking, something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within his reach. Jeez. Me in a moment. I had to find a way out. Oh, I don't like that. Jeez. That's not creepy at all. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> yeah, it's good, it's following me. Oh no. Oh no, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Where do I go? Not that way. That way. <laughs> nope, okay, not that way. I needed light to get the possessed bookshelves out of my way. Oh, the generator. Upstairs. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, come on. Damn it. Cool, cool, cool. Get rid of all this crap. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. I have a single flare and six rounds. Okay. 
Hartman's mission. Hartman knew he was no creator. He had no ambitions on that front. And he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here, damaged in ways that were hard to describe, or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction, to be a producer. That was what most of these people were in need of anyway. Of course, suitable subjects were few and far in between. Man, this guy was crazy. Well, that's definitely not going in the video. Alright, let's go. Okay, okay, okay. What's up, buddy? Come on. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, come on, come on. This one, maybe? Go then. Jeez. Hey, what's up, buddy? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Fair, fucking I great. Don't have a light. Take this, Al. Oh, God. Look at the house, Al. Look out. What the fuck? It's fine. No, it's not. Can't touch me. Okay. Jeez. The battery's recharged. Holy crap. Okay. Alright, we're good. Let's go. I'm trying, buddy. I'm trying. Fuck this, dude. Why the fucking hedge maze? Why the hedge maze? Come on, man. Oh, God. Son of a... This way. I don't know which way to go. Oh, son of a. Maybe I should just go keep going right. Don't trust a meal. Who's a meal? Don't trust a meal. Do you remember who a meal is? I don't remember who Emil is.
Like she's old I stared at the Viking paraphernalia that littered the area, surrounding an unlikely centerpiece. A full-size stage complete with an impressive sound system with all the trimmings, including a dragon. It took a special kind of crazy to build something like this in a remote field. When the sky split open with a deafening boom and the music started blasting, it felt strangely appropriate. Okay, great. I didn't realize this, but I need to reload. Okay. Okay, let the flashlight recharge a bit. And you think I need to move that way? So let's go. Let's, let's turn. Let's go right. Okay. The channel. We'll turn it off. We don't want any fighting. It makes. What? Oh damn it! This is still part of the freaking hitch maze. Is that Birch? Yep, I think it was Birch. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, shit. Got him. Okay. Screw those guys. Thankfully, there was a flare gun in there. Oh, jeez. I, I thought that the flare took him out. <laughs> Oops. Okay, well, he's dead now. The hell out of here. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, let's get the hell out of here. I'm coming, Barry, because screw this place. Right. Shotgun. Oh. Mott in charge. Mott knew that Wake was smarter than him. Wake had more money, a beautiful wife, everything. And Hartman said Wake was important. That made him better than Mott. But Mott was calling the shots now. He'd expected Wake to whimper and grovel. But instead, he seemed willing to fight. Mott knew he'd gotten under Wake's skin. If only Mott actually had his wife. The thought made him shiver. For the moment, Barry was just glad he had survived the fall. He had been separated from Al, and there was no easy way to climb back up. He told himself he'd be okay. Okay in the gloomy forest at night. He would just have to wait for a while for Al to find his way down. Barry turned when he heard the heavy footsteps and saw the movement. The man-shaped shadow lunged at him from the bushes, an axe held high. Barry screamed and threw up his hand. The world exploded. Hartman watched as Wake's features slackened. The man was bullheaded, no doubt. 
Even lying on the bed, he'd almost broken Hartman's nose the second time. But with a little time, he could break Wake down, give him proper direction. Wake was easily the most promising subject he'd had. Well, since Tom, really. Sleep well, Alan, Hartman whispered with a smile. Let me take care of you. He sniffed hard to clear his throbbing nose, swallowed blood, and barely tasted it. Ow! You're alive! Let's get out of here. Can you open this gate? Maybe. Barry. Uh, well, I slammed it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so, uh... That was so fucking frustrating. Hurry up, Screw them. Al, please tell me we're headed for the nearest. You're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were gonna say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm gonna live in it. Maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Ow! How can you know that? I know, Barry. I can... Ow! I... No, listen. I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! <laughs> All right, boys, um, that's where I'm going to go and end it for tonight. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye.